So we just want everybody to know that it certainly does take a village to make it happen. So I'm going to talk briefly um, on why quality is everyone's responsibility, talking about certification and talking about the journey of uh, us achieving the comprehensive cardiac certification along with the TAVR certification, and why is that important. I have no relevant financial relationships. I'm going to briefly talk about um, the comprehensive, like I said, and the TAVR certification, and then go over our case study of how we went on that journey to really purposes to really encourage all of you to go for it, because it really does improve teamwork. Um, just to talk about a few of the certifications and the awards, we know that the Joint Commission is really the gold seal of approval, um, an internally recognized mark of quality that we all go on these journey. We also have the American Association of Critical Care Nurses. Um, it's the Beacon Award for Excellence, and this past year we did achieve the silver in the cath lab. Um, we also have silver in our cardiac surgical unit and our CCU. So we really do um, have a focus on quality and safety and excellence. And again, the American College of Cardiology um, also offers certifications, and I believe that we were the first in New York City to receive the TAVR um, certification, and we're very proud of that. Um, why is it important? Um, really, the benefits are numerous. Um, reducing variation, you know that when there's variation in care, that can lead to bad outcomes. Improving efficiency and outcomes, aligning communication and collaboration, you know how important communication is, 99% of Sentinel events are from miscommunication. Um, really positions our service um, to effectively face new challenges, challenges, makes us competitive in the marketplace, and really, um, tells the public, um, which is really a, a sense of trust, that uh, this is excellence and boosts retention and recruitment. And we all know the national nursing shortage that we're going on in the country. I think that people want to come to a place that really believes in safety, quality, and has excellent communication. And I have to say that the cath lab does this like nobody else. The comprehensive certification, again, was um, it's a voluntary um, certification. It's with the Joint Commission as well as the American Heart Association. It's really, again, gold seal for wor world-class um, patient services. It has nine no no domains. Um, we get certified with cardiac rehab, um, heart, valve, um, cardiac, uh, I'm sorry, CPR, uh, coronary artery bypass, um, cath lab, et cetera, et cetera, MI, um, and so there were nine domains. Again, the certification focuses on quality, and certainly in the ACC, the uh, TAVR certification, it really uh, showed the gold standard, um, and really Jin Kang will be talking, I think, more about this, but really it's a team effort. It brings all the members of the interdisciplinary team together to work towards a shared goal, and it was really quite an honor to receive that. So really, how does teamwork, um, what does that really mean and how does that improve um, communication? And the acronym of team really is together everybody does achieve more. It, teamwork means good communication, working cooperatively on shared objectives, um, that structural interdependency upon, uh, with each other, and really uh, regular reflective learning. We always want to strive to be better. We're never complacent, never. We always are on that journey for high reliability. So we constantly are communicating. If there is an error, we acknowledge we're fully transparent. We, we figure out you know, what could we do to improve, and we do it. The positive outcomes, again, we have seen improved patient experience um, with this. Um, higher quality of care, better patient outcomes, reduced length of stay, greater ability to meet family member needs, and lower nurse turnover certainly improves teamwork. Again, teamwork develops healthcare professionals that are more satisfied with their work. And it sounds cliche, but if employees are happy, patients are happy, and we see that in patient experience scores. The impact on teamwork, if you can see on the uh, Y and the X um, axis, as teamwork improves, patient experience improves on your slope. The tighter everything is together means that it's really it's really correlating. So um, a recent study, um, really according to various studies, and this is one of them was Nurse Now, 
Um, between 22 and 65 percent of all severe adverse events are due to or involve communication failures between staff. So we are very, very focused on that. The impact of teamwork certainly on Press Ganey to prevent a drop in patient experience rankings. There's three key, three, um, key areas that we look at. It's nurse courtesy, nurse friendliness, and care team coordination. And really, um, this is something that you know, Dr. Sharma and Dr. Kinney are extremely focused on. Our floor seven east and KCC four and KCC six are the three units that receive these patients. So we are really active with our nurse and our physician dyads, the nurse manager with a physician dyad, looking at metrics, seeing what we can do to improve. Dr. Sharma has been instrumental in getting our fellows to do that five minute sit down, not stand in the doorway and say, going home, everything's okay, that doesn't work. It's taking the chair, sitting down at eye level and talking to them. And so we really are seeing our scores go up. Press Ganey right now is the gold standard of how we're doing in patient satisfaction. There's no other, there's no other um, really agency. This is the group that we work with um, and really, the study really shows that the main driver of patient loyalty coming back to the institutions time and time again, or medical practices, is the teamwork between the cl clinicians. If they see that you're working together and you're going in and you're talking and you're both saying the same thing, that gives the patient confidence and loyalty. Um, again, in the medical setting, the three top drivers of patient loyalty were teamwork, respect, and courtesy, but teamwork was the top driver in the hospital setting. Caregiver teamwork is a critical consideration in both patient and family uh, physician loyalty and is the strongest predictor of patient loyalty. So we changed our, our Press Ganey question um, about, I think, four months ago to say how well the staff work together to care for you. We added that, the staff work together. It used to be on the nurse, but it's not just the nurse who's taking care of the patient, right? Patient care is a team approach. So we, um, they changed that, and I think that we're starting to see it uh, go up. So now I'm going to talk about the Mount Sinai Heart case study that we did in 2017. And you're probably saying, like, why are you, you know, 2017? That's five years ago. But just to, to give you an idea of all the things that we had to do so that if you're interested in your organization doing this, it is a journey. Um, it always starts with the mission. What's our mission? Our mission is to optimize patient experience, safety, and quality while building and maintaining an environment of inclusiveness and equity. We added that this year in our effort to deliver state-of-the-art cardiac care to patients from local, regional, and global communities. Mount Sinai Heart is committed to a collaborative, comprehensive approach to patient care that will transform cardiac care around the world. So one of the requirements for the comprehensive is that you have to develop a patient experience statement. So we did a contest, and one of the, it was like open to everybody, nurses, physicians, housekeepers, PCAs, techs, anybody could apply for it. And they did, and this is our slogan, Mount Sinai Heart, where your heart of the matter, and on all of our floors, we have that plaque on every unit, and on the badges, the, the ID badges. We are, just to go back, we are certified in palliative care as an institution, the Comprehensive Cardiac uh, Center in 2018. We were the first hospital in the East Coast and fourth in the United States to receive this certification. We're also um, certified in Comprehensive and Advanced Stroke, Ventricular Assist Device, and Advanced Heart Failure. Um, again, our Beacon Awards are in CSICU and uh, CSDU, CSICU and CVICU, a lot of Cs, and Cath Lab. They were all silver, and then the TAVR. So we really do believe in this. And it really is the interdisciplinary team. It's not one discipline. Quality is everybody's responsibility. Um, Mount Sinai Heart and Cardiac Service Line within the hospital is an international leader in the management and diagnosis of um, heart disease. We have global leaders. And as we reinvigorated our patient experience journey, we decided that we really wanted to go on this journey to achieve this comprehensive cardiac certification. And two components of the certification were provision of care and performance improvement. And the PI component focuses, focused on and does focus on evaluating and evolving the care patients receive at every phase of cardiac care. So we had to develop a very strong, robust clinical and quality steering committee where each discipline identifies their quality metrics um, and that our methodology that we use is the lean methodology, Six Sigma, it's a team approach, and we use an A3 format framework, 
which encourages we don't come to the solution. We identify the problem, we, we list all the reasons, and then we come to the conclusion. Um, and these are the domains, heart failure, STEMI, ICD, valve, AMI, cardiac rehab, cabbage, diagnostic cardiac cath, and PCI. And it really is very intensive. But the, the thing that I, that I think that we felt was that it really brought us really closer as a team. It doesn't matter your title. It's like, let's, we got to get the job done. And I think that you still see that now when you're in the hall or you're on the unit. Everybody is just much friendlier, and it's just more teamwork, and patients see that, and they feel safe, and they feel loyal, and we've seen it in our patient experience. And this is our certification of um, distinction. Um, with COVID, it's kind of gotten everybody off track, so we're on our way, again, to get redesignated um, in the first quarter of 23. This just really brings it to, you know, we value teamwork and that, you know, it starts from the Board of Trustees uh, to the quality. There's a committee on quality um, that I presented actually on Tuesday night. Uh, we, we give a, an update on where we are. We have the Executive Committee of the Medical Board and then we have, each hospital has their own quality board and then we have our own in Mount Sinai heart quality. So it, it goes from the from bottom up and top down. For quality. Um, and again, it's, you know, really the clinical um, and quality steering committee, it's multidisciplinary. Um, we track and trend our performance, including our patient experience, and we're very data driven. And it cascades down because on every unit there is a daily management board where our key process indicators are listed. Our quality metrics are up on the board for all to see. It's not tucked away in a notebook and we pull it out for the next Joint Commission survey. We have to know our data quarterly, where we stand so that we can constantly improve. And that's through rapid PDCA cycles. We do use lean, like I said. The beauty of this is it reduces waste, um, prevents variations in care, and increases effectiveness in results. And A3 is just the way that we, you'll see here, this is an example of an A3 performance improvement plan. The organizational objective is to meet, for example, on STEMI, the mission lifeline criteria. Um, the, the start date and the plan duration, you see who the stakeholders are. We are very close to our ED colleagues, um, our cath lab and EMS. EMS is just not senior care that drives up. They are meeting with us monthly. Um, so we talk to them about, you know, what, what happened? Were you dilly-dallying, you know, from Queens? We met, you know, we have to do it in 120 minutes. If we're 125 minutes, five minutes too long, what happened? What can we do to improve it? This tells you about the background, um, and I'm not going to go into it, but just so that you can see, we go over the background. And then really, two is the current state. You know, Mount Sinai Health System, first medical contact to device in the median time. We, again, looking at data off hours versus regular hours. Uh, the direct presentation coming in versus arriving in the emergency room and arriving via EMS. And you can see that this data is up in the cath lab so that for all to see. And believe me, when they come around and they come for the survey, they are drilling down to make sure that everybody knows this. Again, um, looking at the data, you can see that um, we then go over the targets that our door to balloon time needs to be less than 90 minutes and greater than 95% of our cases. First medical contact to balloon, less than 90 minutes in 75% of the cases. And then ED to first EKG, which is something that we do struggle with, uh, less than 10 minutes and greater than 75% of the cases. I shouldn't say that we struggle, but if it's an area that, that we, when we look at it during the month, nine times out of 10, it might be 20 minutes or 15 minutes. That's the metric out of those three targets that we have to work on. Um, again, you know, we go over the analysis and then the implementation plan. And then on the lower right really talks about what we did in quarter one, 2017. We had to establish a STEMI pathway. We had to review and, um, and correct on-call uh, information, making sure that our, our um, operators knew who was on call and then launched the STEMI um, order set into EPIC. Quarter two in 2017, and this was the hard work of Dr. Nitin Barman and, and Heidi Garcia. Uh, really putting together the team and working on this. Um, quarter two was pre-notification process, the establishment from uh, EMS to EKG, dedicated chest pain um, EKG machine in the ED, 
believe it or not, having one EKG machine is not enough. We had to lobby for them to get two and three to station them in specific areas in the emergency room, uh, creating the STEMI med pack, um, and then, of course, the RN handoff from ED to cath lab. And then ongoing, constantly, uh, Jen Meyer, who is a senior director in the ED, and Heidi Garcia, within, 40, within really 24 hours, 12 to 24 hours after a STEMI are already on email looking at seeing, you know, where we are in each, uh, in each uh, implementation plan and, and where do we fall off if we did. Um, monthly feedback and also, excuse me, Jeannie Banton, um, the nurse manager in the cath lab. All three of them are really dedicated to this. Um, monthly feedback process with EMS and um, FIDNI and evaluate the effectiveness process um, and identify areas for improvement. So like I said, it really is a, a, a collaborative, multidisciplinary team that does meet. And you can see um, when we launched this in cardiology, our patient experience scores in quarter four is when we went from comprehensive. Um, and you can see the, the bump up of 80.3 in the quarter one of 2020, uh, restructuring the quality that by by us just coming together monthly and all meeting and all talking, we, we have gone up and we've seen that steady, that steady um, rise despite COVID. Again, with the goal of um, the comprehensive uh, cardiac certification in sight, the team is really coming together, um, and they did come together. Improvement in overall rating went from 77.3 in quarter three 2018 to 84.1 in quarter one 2019. Again, achieving the comprehensive fourth in the country, first in the East Coast, and using lean methodology. Really, all those three things really helped us to achieve it. And again, looking at our 2022 goals, we really pushed Press Ganey and the senior leadership to change the metric from nursing to staff work together to care for you, really focusing on teamwork because it's really, truly a team that takes care of the patient. You can see where we are um, and where we need to go. We're at 73.1, we're almost there. That's the 54th percentile, but look by just going up 0.3, um, we could be in the 59th percentile, and our stretch is 73% to go in the 64th percentile, because it's competitive. I mean, these scores are actually, everybody can see them. I mean, including patients, if they're looking at your website, they wanna go to a place where the care is great, and the care is great by evidencing how well we're doing in patient experience. Um, these are just some of our patient experience comments. I was great, grateful to have Dr. Kinney perform my cardiac catheterization, and the nurses were better than a patient could expect, kind, caring, and very knowledgeable. Dr. Sharma's colleagues work as a team, and I was well-informed and kept well at ease. Dr. Sharma and his team of professionals are always accessible and, deep, and care deeply about their patients. Dr. Sharma listened to all of my concerns and explained things to me clearly. He had a reassuring bedside manner and provided excellent care. And here you can see Mount Sinai, we're at Heart of the Martyr. Um, excellent experience every time I've been at a heart patient since 2013, and Dr. Sweeney has always been available when needed. Whether I'm admitted or outpatient, Dr. Sweeney and his staff deliver excellent services. Dr. Kinney is excellent at what she does. I had an excellent experience and was provided with great care by Dr. Kinney and her team. I had a very good experience with Dr. Dangus. He provides, provides excellent care. Overall, I had an excellent encounter with Dr. Schwartz and the other clinical team members. Dr. Schwartz was an outstanding physician. Dr. Rao and Dr. Krishnan are both excellent doctors. I felt safe and certain that my health was in good hands. They both ensured that my every question was answered, and to my surprise, Dr. Krishnan answered his cell even on Sunday. Dr. Vishal was very kind and dedicated. They were friendly and very helpful at explaining everything. I have always been, had pleasant visits with Dr. Bander. He is very knowledgeable. Dr. Lajam is the best. His expertise and his way of treating patients is unique and makes you feel cared for and confident that you're in great hands. These, this is what our patients are telling us, so they feel safe, and that's so important. In conclusion, uh, cert certifications such as those require all members of the multidisciplinary care team to come together and work towards common goals and helps us to foster strong teamwork. Again, studies have shown that teamwork is a fundamental contributor to high patient experience scores and patient loyalty. Mount Sinai Heart implemented several multidisciplinary performance improvement committees and lean A3PI plans to achieve the comprehensive um, cardiac certification. 
These new structures and planning work help build teamwork, which subsequently helped improve patient experience scores. So as Dr. Sharma's motto in the cath lab, teamwork, coming together is a beginning, keeping together is progress, working together is success. Thank you. <laughs>